Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Latina Marie. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So I am finally back. I've been gone for a couple days. I took like almost a week off. Um, I was really sick. My husband, my kids, and myself all came down with the flu. Uh, two of my kids are still really sick. I'm still feeling it a little bit, but I felt like I was good enough to get back in front of the camera and I was ready to. I know that people uh, were noticing that I was getting sick because somebody left a comment on my last video saying that I sounded really stuffed up and it was a little distracting and I still sound a little stuffed up so I apologize for that. Um, but I really wanted to get back to work. I didn't want to take too much time off. I definitely didn't want to take another week off. Although I do think that my body deserves a week off. But I did some shopping over the weekend because I thought I deserved it. I went and pampered myself and uh, did some shopping. And I'm just really in the mood to play with some makeup and really to get into the stuff that I bought because I want to try it out and I want to see how it works, how I like it. Um, a lot of this stuff is not extremely new to the market. It's new to me. I just want to make that clear that it's not. I'm not trying new makeup that is just come out so you may have tried this before I just have never tried it so I'm in the mood to try some new makeup so some of the things that I got everything that's here is not uh, all the things that I got it's just a few things that I'm gonna be using today but I got the one of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Jaclyn Hill palettes the armed and gorgeous palette I'm gonna open this up. I love I, I really like this packaging I can't I ripped the box So I'm very upset about that right? Okay, I'm just gonna keep ripping the box The other end seemed to open just fine Okay, so very protected and this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this palette before. This is what the palette looks like. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm excited to play with this. I love the oranges in this, so I'm excited to play with this. Something else that I got is the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. This packaging is everything. Can I tell you? <laughs> it's your time to shine. Yes, it is. Gorgeous. Now, I ordered this off of a really weird site. I'm, I'm not even going to tell you what it was because I don't want anybody to go waste their money. I only had to pay $15 for shipping. So basically everything, it was supposed to be like samples. It was supposed to be like samples of everything. Everything was supposed to be uh, free and you just had to pay shipping. And then I never got it. I don't know if this site is like supposed to be like Wish where they just take 50 years to send you stuff, but... I didn't get it but this is what this highlighter looks like I'm super excited to play in this because it is look at how oh. look at that it I mean it's subtle but it's like I think it'll be perfect for my skin I don't know so I'm excited I'm really excited to play in this I just love this packaging. I love Too Faced's packaging. I don't know why, but I just, I love their packaging. Next, I have some Laura Mercier setting powders. Translucent setting powders. I got the minis because these are really expensive. These were $23 each. I got three of them. The reason I got three was because, why does it seem like some was spilling out? Okay, the reason I got three was because this is the translucent. This is the regular translucent uh, powder. And then this is the translucent deep, medium deep. So I wanted to try both. And then they just came out with their glow. 
I, I would have gotten both shades, but I didn't realize that they added in both shades until I left. So this is the glow and the regular. So I haven't even opened these. So cute and little. So this is the Glow Translucent. I don't know which one I'm going to use today, but the regular translucents are the regular powders. Okay, I was going to say they seem like they might be bigger, but they're not. They just have puffs in them. So this is the regular. These are both the regular translucent, but this is the glow and this is the matte. Medium deep. So we'll give these a try today. I'll probably end up using the matte just because I want to use the highlighter and I feel like that will distract from the highlighter if I use the glow. So we'll hold off on the glow today. I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense to me in my head. So that's what I'm going with. So yeah, I just kind of want to get started. I'm going to do my brows and prep my eyes and we'll get started. Okay, so I have done my eyebrows. I've prepped my eyes, almost completely prepped them. I'm going to set them with my new translucent powder we're gonna try this for the first time now you guys know that i love my uh pretty vulgar so i'm like i i had a really hard time paying for this <laughs> because i i love my pretty vulgar so i'm just gonna tap a little bit of this but i've heard good things about this powder so I really wanted to give it a try and here we go so far it seems okay I mean I'm just setting my eyes right now so I can't really say too much about it but it seems to be doing an okay job. I mean, it, like I said, I'm just setting my eyes. So I don't know how much it could be doing. But I mean, if it was a terrible powder, I definitely would be able to see that through just setting my eyes. So. We will use it again, but on to Armed and Gorgeous. It's got a nice size mirror in it, so I love that. I'm just going to dip into this because I'm super excited about it. I'm going to start with this orange right here, Secure, right here. I'm just going to take this Morphe M139 brush and I'm just gonna put that into my crease area like right above where you can actually see where my eye is creasing but like right in here and I'm just going to pat that on I'm not getting a little a lot of kickback in the pan so that's good I'm just going to pat that on. I'm happy that it seems like it's showing up on camera, but I don't know. This isn't as bright as I thought it would be. So I'm a little disappointed about that. 
but it is buildable so I love that so it just may take some time to get as bright as I want it to because honestly I bought this palette for this or for the color secure like I love this orange next I'm gonna go in with this elf fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna dip into access right here it's like a yellowy orange a burnt yellowy orange and I'm gonna blend that so that this is not so harsh Um, it's not bad. Honestly, you can't really tell the difference of my two eyes. Like, it doesn't look that big of a difference. Which sucks, because I definitely feel like I have a lot of product on my face. On my eye. And I don't know, can eyeshadow get cakey looking? Can your eyeshadow get cakey? I'm gonna use this crown brush that I got in a subscription box that I have. I got it while I was sick, so I didn't open it, but, or I opened it, but I didn't film it, so. But yeah, I'm gonna be using this to just, I'm gonna go with Smooth Criminal right here. And I'm going to take that all over my lid. Okay, I feel like that's not as dark as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to go into Prowl. It's a darker brown. much better I'm gonna go back in with that uh, orange secure and I'm just going to really kind of I'm trying to build this as much as I can because I really want this to be orange I feel like it's appearing a little more okay it is appearing a little more orange now that I've got the brown and I'm just gonna blend these two colors I like it I like it very simple but cute now I'm gonna take uh, there's another crown brush just a small precision brush. That's kind of what it looks like. And I'm gonna dip into, uh, I'm gonna go into classified right here. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. But I'm also going to like take it onto the lid on the inner corner. So just a real little bit, and then I'm going to take that brush and just kind of making sure to give it a blend. So it's not, so that's where we are with that. I'm going to do my other eye off camera. I'm going to do my lashes. 
actually I'm gonna do my other eye and my foundation off camera I'm gonna hold off on my lashes for a minute but I'm gonna do my other eye and my foundation and I will be back okay so I have my foundation and my concealer and a little bit of contour going on uh, that I clearly did not finish we'll get to that though because I'm starting to crease under my eyes so I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier I don't know if I'm saying that right I'm gonna take a brush this is a Morphe brush and I'm just going to take a real little bit to begin with Okay, initial reaction, I do not hate this. Um, I do, I like it. It's not, I don't know. I think I'm having a hard time determining if I'm going to like it or not because I am having the hardest time loving the, uh, Fenty Pro Filter concealers. They just, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe I need to try another shade or something because I'm not loving this 420 on me. So I think we need to try another shade for that. So I think that will be my next goal to do that. So now that we've got our face, our base, we're going to go back in with the eyes, back to the palette. I got this brush off of Amazon. I'm going to use this and take a prowl and just go right under the lower lash. Next, I'm going to go in with the Secure, using that same brush that I was using the whole time for it. I'm just going to go under and really let that blend. to take access and I'm mostly just blending this on the outer corner so I'm not going under my eye with it I'm just staying right here in the outer corner Now I'm going to take this eyeliner, Dose Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen. This came in my Ipsy bag for February, which I also received while I was sick, so I was unable to record the unboxing for it, but this came in there. And I'm just going to line my eyes. So it's super easy to draw with, but it dries really fast. So that's not good, but uh, look at that link. It is very fine and very precise, so that's great, but And if there's nothing for me to draw, I 
it's just not coming out. So basically this is the eyeliner you turn to when you're just needing eyeliner and no uh, eyeshadow because on top of shadow it just seems to dry up really fast and it's hard to make anything appear. I'm going to do my lashes and I will be back. Okay, I've got my lashes on. I have not done my lower lashes yet. I'm going to use the, actually, I'm going to use the Better Than Sex Too Faced, Better Than Sex Mascara. I've never used this on my bottom lashes before. I recently used it on my uh, top lashes and I loved it. So let's see what wonders it does for the bottom lashes. Now it is time to try this highlighter. I'm going to set my face really quick. Setting mist. Okay. So, I'm going to take this Morphe. Actually, just kidding. I bought the uh, Diamond Light Highlighting Brush. I can't believe I spent $32 on this brush. And it was either the this brush or the... Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so irritated right now. And the other end just opens fine. Oh, that's so disappointing. Come out. Okay. It was between this one and the Fenty one that I wanted to buy. And I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do. I ended up doing this one. Which I'm really excited about. This is super cute. Super cute, you guys. Look at that. It's highlighting on it. It's like a diamond. It really is. Shining bright like a diamond. Okay, so now we're going to go into this highlighter, which I am ooh, so excited for. So excited. I know it's not going to be blinding, but that's okay. I don't think I'm, I'm looking for a blinding look today, so that's fine. But look at this. It seriously doesn't have to be blinding. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. This brush is not my favorite. It is not my fave. I feel like I would get better use out of this on my eyes than my highlighter. But that's just my opinion. I have this highlighting brush that I also got. The, one, the Morphe... 532. I'm going to try this on the other side and see. Look at that highlighter, dude. Um, to be honest, I love the highlighter. <laughs> I think I like this brush better. I don't know why, but I think I like this brush better. Sucks, because I paid 32 for that while I paid like seven dollars for this if that I do feel like the this brush picks it up better but I don't 
No, maybe. Maybe I like this brush. This highlighter is life. It's my life right now. I didn't get any new lip products, so I'm just gonna gloss it today. Actually, I'm gonna try this. I know it probably doesn't match. No, we're not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna gloss this with the Tarte Tartist lip paint. My lips look swollen. Could be the sickness. This is a very natural look, a very simple, hey, how you doing? I'm cute, you wanna get to know me? I don't know what that was. But this is just a very simple look, a very uh, hello look. These lashes are uh, Jackie Love Faux Meek Lashes in the Style Princess. I got these in a lashy box, which is also a prescription, uh, which is where my brushes came. And I received that while I was sick, so I was unable to film unboxing. But my new box should be coming soon, so I will be filming that one for you guys. But I love this look. I love the palette. Uh, this palette is amazing. It it, it was... It, it disappointed me at first because I thought it wasn't going to show up on me. And I was like, oh, Jackie, what are we doing? Are we not caring about our, our melanins out here? But no, that's not what happened. It just is something that really you have to build. Um, I want to try the other palettes. I think I'm going to go for the other three palettes and then the big palette. So, yeah, the Laura Mercier, I'm going to have to try those on another uh concealer because the concealer and the foundation that I used today just was I'm just not rocking with it was like very velvety so it makes everything kind of hard to see and then I've got like these shadows on me I don't know where they're coming from but uh I've got like shadows on me everywhere right now so that's kind of weird but just I don't know the just my foundation and concealer is just was not on my side today so that didn't work out that didn't really help the situation so I will try I will keep playing with the setting powders because I do seem to like them uh, a bit you know I do like that the medium deep is something that I could probably just use under my eyes and to cut my uh, like carve out my uh, cheeks and stuff so I, I do want to keep playing with it I'm excited for all of these products. Absolutely love the highlighter. It's nice and subtle. It, I I like a a banging highlighter, but I love this one. And I feel like in the right light, it will do everything it's supposed to. I love the hue of the purple and the pink in it. And it's also got a little bit of green in it. But I love it. I love all of it. And I've got so many more products and so many more surprises for you guys and things to show you. I hope you guys like this look. I absolutely love it. It's like a it's like a misty ah, sunset. I don't know, but it's super cute. I love it. I hope you guys like it. It's a natural everyday look. Um if you do like this video, let me know with a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that button. I love you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.